Hey guys, I'm just uh, just making some soap for my niece for Christmas. She um she suffers with eczema quite a bit, so my soap is really good for her skin. And uh, I'm just making her a, a nice batch for Christmas. As you can see, I've used uh, used a lot of ingredients in here, uh, and I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the oil is green because we had a bit of leftover uh, green coloured oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what happens when we add our lye water to our soap. Oh sorry, to our oils. You see the colour change? pretty cool I do enjoy this I love love making soap so this is amazing to me every time so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, use my thick blend to see what happens so I'm not going to talk for a bit because it's pretty loud gonna stop this for a minute normally now I'll, uh, I'll I'll blend it until it gets a bit thicker goes to a stage called trace but I just thought I'd, uh, I'd show you this little bit of our soap making this isn't actually our um, ingredients that we use in our normal soaps it's just uh, some I use for my for my niece I mean our soaps are brilliant and uh, it's it's just not in the same. It's all the same ingredients, but just in different proportions. Just um, just because it's what I had left over. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I've just finished blending now. I've blended my oils and my lye water all together. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the fragrance oil. The reason we don't add the fragrance oil at the same time as we do the other oils is because that's what we want to smell so if we were to add it at the same time as the lye water then these oils here would turn into soap and they wouldn't smell as much so that's the reason we add it after after this soap has reached a stage called trace where I don't know if you can see this on the camera but as I trace it through, it's like thick and goopy and leaves a trace. So yeah, I'm gonna add those now and then once that's all blended in, they'll be ready for pouring. Hey guys, just doing a little video on showing you a bit more about what we do. These are our molds that we use. This is where we pour the soap into and let it set. Uh, we have a lot of towels around because we use those to keep the soap warm. So once we've poured it, we we keep it warm for 24 hours so that we create a gel phase. The gel phase makes you have brighter colours, which is hard to do when you use all natural ingredients. You get very vibrant colours with the, some of the some of the micas that you can get, which are not natural. But we use a different technique where we we steep our oil using natural ingredients such as spinach powder for the green. And uh, yeah, then we pour the soap in here, and then we put a layer of cling film over the top and wrap it up. Leave it for 24 hours. And that's that's it. That's uh, that's how we do it. We also use this, which is pure alcohol. 
and this just stops a layer of soda ash forming on top of the soap. That's um doesn't look very nice, it almost looks like a layer of ash. So we uh we use that just a little spritz on top just to keep it looking nice basically. So yeah, there's a little bit about what we do and uh I'm gonna upload some more videos as well. Thanks. Okay guys, I'm just gonna show you now me pouring one of the soaps. This is really hard to do whilst filming it, so I'm not going to talk much. You just hear Kiss FM in the background. I usually listen to that when I make soap. I find it tends to play lots of upbeat music and I quite enjoy that. That's it, full to the brim. Just gonna pour the next one now. I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so there's our soaps, all covered in cling film. I put towels underneath them. That helps the bottom to uh to gel, make a nice vibrant colour. Now all I'm gonna do is just cover them in blankets and tea towels. That's what I use. And this basically just keeps them nice and warm. When you keep them nice and warm, you create better colours. So it just looks that bit nicer. I mean I couldn't I could just not do this but you get soap that doesn't quite look look that great and uh, still does the same job though but I'm hoping bear in mind it is December as well uh, sorry November late November while I'm doing this so it's quite cold outside so I'm just putting a few a few extra blankets on an old towel as well which is great to use and that'll just keep it nice and warm for about 24 hours and then I'm going to come back and cut them and I'll show you that one tomorrow so this is the last step of the process I'm just going to cut the soap now into bars like this as you can see they look really good and now we're going to let them leave them to cure for about four to six weeks and then they'll be ready and perfect bars of soap for Christmas for my niece.